Around August slash September of this year, Glorious announced their new Panda Switch. It got people hyped up expecting a cheaper version of the famed Holy Pandas. What we actually got was not at all what I was expecting, and originally, while I did not like these switches, I want to tell you how these switches have grown on me over time, and why I think they are a decent switch, but they are not the replacement for the Holy Panda that people are making them out to be. So first, I want to do a sound test, so if this is all you really need, you can click away right after. So these are the Glorious Pandas and the Womier K66 with an acrylic plate and clipped and lubed stabs. So, these switches are basically the competitor to the exclusive market for high-end tactile switches, such as the Holy Pandas. As you probably heard, they sound pretty nice. However, there's a lot of different factors that go into a switch, such as the scratch, the springs, and everything. And while these switches do sound really nice, the feel is good, but it's not up to that same par. If we look at the glorious product page, we can see that the top housing is made from the original Envir housing for the Holy Panda. The bottom housing is a 3-pin, so it will work on all PCBs, and it is the same from the original Envir housing. The housings are made of PA66 nylon, and the stems are made from palm, which is normal on most modern stems. And if you don't know what those are, those are just types of plastic. The spring only comes in a 67 gram variant, so it is on the heavy side for switches, but that is pretty common for tactiles, so it makes sense. But honestly, the best way that I can describe these is you know how when you give your friend the answers to a test and tell them to change them up so that the teacher doesn't notice? That is basically exactly what Glorious did here. They did their best copy of the Holy Pandas, but to avoid making an exact copy, they just changed up certain things. In use, they have an incredibly sharp, noticeable tactile bump, and this is a complete opposite from switches such as Kale Box or even MX Browns. The pandas are also quite scratchy. I feel like this could be fixed with a light lube for tactile switches, but with the amount of work I've currently had, I did not have the time to do so. The pandas are priced at what is a reasonable $24 for 36 switches. However, I question their quantities and why they did not just do packs of 10 or 20 like most switch manufacturers. So this would not be a pandas review without a comparison between the original holy pandas and the glorious pandas. And while I don't own any Holy Pandas myself because they're incredibly expensive and pretty hard to get, I did find a video that Teha Types made quite a while back where he sound tested stock Holy Pandas. And since my glorious pandas are stock, I thought that would be best for this video. So that's what I'm going to do next is a comparison between these two. Here it is.
so as you probably heard, the holy pandas are a little bit more high pitched. Now of course both of these switches are stock, so with lubing the sound might change. However, sounds of switches are personal preference, so it's really more what you prefer rather than what I recommend to you. Now that all the technical stuff is all out of the way, I wanted to talk about my personal opinions on these switches. Prior to these, I was using Kale Yellow Heavies, which are a 71 gram linear switch. Of course, heavy switches aren't for everyone, but these were cheap, and I wanted to get them to get used to heavy switches, such as the pandas that I knew I would be getting in the future. So, I used these switches for about a month and a half to put out this review, and at the start, my opinions on these was quite negative. However, as I kept using them, and I broke them in a little bit, these switches were actually a lot better than I thought that they were. If your primary goal with getting these switches is for gaming, I would highly recommend it. I love these switches for gaming and they feel so nice in almost every game that I play. And they're also pretty good for light typing. In fact, the entire script for this video was wrote out on these switches and I even edited this video using the keyboard with these switches in them. Now, getting on to heavy typing, I use these switches throughout the school day for about two to three weeks before switching off. And that's because I couldn't find myself using these switches for a long period of time. I like tactile switches, but the bump on these was just so heavy that I just didn't like using it for typing out long essays or notes. So for my final conclusion on these switch, they try too hard to be holy pandas when in their own they aren't a bad switch. And I think Glorious could have definitely changed a couple of things around to make these better. And they do cut costs in certain areas. I would highly recommend these switches for their price, however, because they are only $24, which is pretty insane for the quality of switch that you are getting. So while I wouldn't recommend these to the diehard enthusiasts unless they really want to try it, I would definitely recommend them to anyone getting into custom keyboards or anyone that just wants a nicer switch than their Cherry MX. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you did enjoy this video, I have a lot more content on the way. So if you haven't already, be sure to drop a sub, because only 11% of you watching my videos are subscribed, because I spend a lot of time trying to make these high quality and simple. If you want more behind the scenes content and posts on upcoming videos, be sure to check out my Twitter, which will be linked in the description. And also, since I'm on break, I will be streaming a lot more often now, so be sure to check out my Twitch, which is also in the description. And comment below and let me know what you think of these switches, because I would love to hear your opinions. And drop a like if this video helped you find whether you wanted these switches or not. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.